Hey guys, I'm Dave Cariello from Canal Street Chronicles. Thanks for tuning in to another edition of our New Orleans Saints mailbag. What up with that? All right, our first question is from Drunk Wino, uh, who appropriately asks, what do I think will go away? First, I'm assuming Joe Morgan's problem or the Joe Morgan problem. Uh, what I think is going to happen with Joe Morgan is I think this is going to be the end of it. Life is going to go on. Uh, you know, he's going to continue to, to to be a productive receiver in the Saints offense, one of Drew's go-to guys. He's not going to be a guy that you're going to see in trouble all the time. He just doesn't come off as that kind of guy to me. Um, so I think it's much ado about nothing. I think uh, it's already water under the bridge. All right, next up, our good friend Cajun Commando 58 uh, says that former LSU running back Terry Robisky promoted to Falcons assistant head coach. What effect do I think this will have on the Saints-Falcons rivalry? And the answer to that is absolutely nothing. Uh, I don't see an assistant head coach really having that much hand in the overall outcome of the rivalry. Maybe a small, small, minimal part, but certainly nothing that uh, is going to be that noticeable, I don't think. I think this is a, that would all be much ado about nothing. So uh, sleep tight, Cajun Commando 58. Uh, I, think, I think the Saints are still going to own the Falcons. All right, next up is a question from Rusty Griswold. And every time I see that name, I always think of the scene from European Vacation when they're at the top of the Eiffel Tower. And Rusty's got his name embroidered on that beret, and the French girls make fun of him. I don't know why every time I always think of that one scene. But anyway, he says, with the loss of Daniels, do you think the Saints will carry three QBs on the final roster? First of all, it is Daniel, not Daniel. Uh, Chase Daniel. And uh, no, I don't think that they will carry three QBs. I think they will only carry one, uh, two QBs. Uh, my guess would probably be Drew Brees and Seneca Wallace, but uh, you know that's just a guess. I would maybe think uh, Ryan Griffin will be headed towards the practice squad if he would clear waivers. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I think they usually always roll with two, so they'll roll with two. And uh, don't forget, in the event of a catastrophe, Lance Moore could potentially uh, always play quarterback in a pinch. All right, next up, good old Stuart J. Thinks Saints ticket prices are insane, and he wants to know whether they'll come down before the season starts. And he also wants to know if he can have the right of first refusal and option to match any competing offer on my personal season tickets for any games that I might not attend this year. Well, I hate to break it to you, old buddy, but uh, I will most certainly be going to every single game. I haven't missed one for quite some time. I don't plan to start now. If, for some crazy reason, uh, I couldn't go to a game, sure. You're, I'd be happy to offer them to you and you can sit in my seat. Just uh, don't get me permanently banned from the Superdome, please. Um, and as far as season ticket prices, I don't see them going down. The only way season ticket price, I mean, the only way uh, Saints ticket prices are going to go down is if the Saints start sucking. We don't want to see that and we don't want that to happen. So deal with it and pay up the big bucks. It's the NFL, baby. <laughs> All right, now another blog question from Cajun in California. He says, in light of the recent tampering done with the Mount St. Moore polls, have I looked into any way to prevent someone from skewing the results uh, of a poll? Or now that it's happened, will every poll we, uh, we see be subject to tampering uh, by any immature punk with basic hacking skills? Um, strongly, strong words from Cajun in California there. Um, I think we're always vulnerable to it. I mean, there's nothing I can do about it. I, I don't think that there's much that Destiny Nation can do about it. You know, I think it's obvious when a poll gets hacked, and, and we'll know that. And we'll obviously always do something about it. I think it rarely happens. I think the person that did it confessed. If you go back to that 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 fan shot that I posted with the with the mock poll, the, the funny poll there. Uh, so, you know, I, I wouldn't worry about it. Uh, I think for the most part, it's you know, everything's kosher, um, but uh, I'm glad everybody cares enough to ask a question like that, so thanks, man. Our next question actually was emailed to me, and it comes from Mike O, who says, uh, the Saints cleared some calf space this, this recently by renegotiating Roman Harper's contract. Do I think they'll make a uh, room for another signing if need be? Um, I mean, 
if need be, they could always use an upgrade somewhere. But uh, do I think it's going to happen? I mean, there's really not much left out there in free agency at this point. The market's a little bit dried up. Uh, John Abraham's out there. Uh, Israel Adonage, if he fits. But, uh, you know, if Slim Pickens out there, I, I think they'll probably wind up sitting tight. You know, maybe, uh, maybe if they get lucky, they can pick somebody up at, at final cuts or something like that. But uh, don't look for the Saints to make some, some big splash or big signing here now in, in the middle of June. And I think the roster as it is now is pretty much set. So uh, buckle up. All right, my main man, Hans P., has a, a good question. I really like this question. What one defensive statistic do I think is most important to approve upon to make the needed difference on defense, uh, excluding overall league ranking and energy? You know, something like, is it points allowed or takeaways or uh, third down conversion? Uh, I mean, first of all, points allowed is completely different than all of those. I mean, I think points allowed is... Is the result you, you get um, from doing other things. If you're not, if you're giving up a few points, that's you know you don't just go out in the field out on the field and say, hey man, you know let's just not give up a lot of points. You go out in the field and you say, let's do this or let's do that, and the result of that will be less points. So uh, personally, takeaways. I think that's the biggest thing. Uh, they change the momentum of the game. Uh, sometimes they can. You know, if you get a run back or, or something like that, you can get extra points out of it. You know, I think that was the big difference maker in 2009 when Greg Williams first came and, and uh, energized the defense. I just think takeaways above all else, if, if you have those, if, 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 if you're way on the plus side there for takeaways overall, you know, you're going to, you're probably going to be having a good season and a winning season. It, it's almost rare that that, 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 that doesn't work out. So good question. I would definitely take takeaways. I hope we see a lot of those uh, this season in 2013. Thank you, guys. Appreciate you uh, tuning in again. Look forward to your questions next week. And uh, I'm not wearing any pants.